What's up travelers? In this video we're starting out in Tacoma, Washington and we are heading over to get the second best hot dog in the entire country at the Red Hot here in Tacoma and then we're heading up to Seattle to go have some Hawaiian fried chicken and some amazing ginger beer so check it out. We are sitting at the Red Hot in Tacoma, Washington. This place is special. So this place has been rated for having the number two best hot dog in all the United States. So this is gonna be an awesome video. I just ordered a hound dog and a bon mi dog. Check these dogs out. My buddy Harry over there, he got a BLT dog and a Coney. I think he's really enjoying it, but I got what is known as the hound dog, and this thing is awesome. That is peanut butter and bacon on an all beef made in house hot dog, and this thing, I'm so excited. This thing, oh man, it doesn't get any better. So first things first, you get the smokiness from that bacon and then that savory sweetness from that peanut butter. And then the snap of that hot dog is just unmatched. It's just, it's the dream wiener right there. It's one of the best things you could ever eat in Washington State. That's for sure. I highly, highly, highly recommend this hot dog, the hound dog. It's got that saltiness and this smokiness and meatiness. It's just got everything that you could ever want out of a bite of food. And it is unbelievable. The one problem with it is the peanut butter melts and it is messy. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure that this place was one of the first places that Guy Fieri visited with uh, diners, dives, and drive-thrus. Uh, I may be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it was Guy Fieri and, and that show. This place has done nothing but get better over the years, and the last time I was here, they definitely didn't have this hot dog on the menu, and this is the Bon Mi. So it's a, it's a Vietnamese style hot dog. It's got chicken sausage, pickled carrots, uh, all of the other kinds of veggies, pickled jalapenos, which I think they do all the pickling in their own house. Of course, it's gone with, it's gone with a poppy seed bun. I'm ready to try this, because you know how I am with my Vietnamese food, so I'm, I'm really, really interested for this one. It's good. It's uh, it's really good. I think they really could have leaned into the Vietnamese flavors a bit more. I'd definitely order it again. That jalapeno, it's, it's not very much spice. A lot of crunch. So it's a it's a fresh pickled jalapeno. The carrots, 
you don't hardly even realize that they're there, honestly. That green sauce on the top, that is, it just kind of adds to the texture of it. Uh, it's kind of a soggy dog. It's still really, really good. I think it's missing uh, hoisin and soy sauce. Maybe even some fish sauce would really, really lighten this, this dog up. Being as this isn't a Vietnamese restaurant, I think they did a pretty good job. Definitely worth coming to check it out. If you're in Tacoma, you want an amazing hot dog, come to the Red Hot. And we're about to head up to Seattle and get some Hawaiian fried chicken and some craft ginger beer. And it's going to be awesome, so stick around. Hey, what's up, travelers? This is Gary Holt from Exodus and formerly from Slayer, and I'm here to tell you to smash that subscribe button for Tasting Travel. Slayer, do it now. Tasting Travel. Check it out. Later. Subscribe. All the best. Bye-bye. That's Jeff Bezos' balls right behind me. And we are heading over to Rachel's Ginger Beer and Muano Fried Chicken. So check it out. So we are sitting here at Rachel's Ginger Beer. I ended up getting a caramelized pineapple ginger beer. And I had a little sampler when I was up there ordering it. This stuff is absolutely amazing. Oh, that is so good. It's, it's almost like, like drinking a a pineapple kombucha uh, it's not real gingery it's not a whole lot of a heat level to it but oh man you can just tell that when you take that 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 sip you just feel your your cells just get all excited and happy because that is good for you <laughs> But we also, we, we ordered some chicken drumsticks here. This place is it's kind of a unique place. Uh, they serve spicy chicken here. I got mine. It's got paprika and cayenne pepper as the seasoning. And I've actually never eaten food here. I've been here for the ginger beer quite a few times. But uh, I'm pretty excited. I've always wanted to try their chicken here. Did you look at that? That chicken looks absolutely 
amazing. <laughs> Looks so crispy and just wow. Oh man, you can smell that cayenne and the paprika on that. And the, one of the coolest parts about this chicken is it's cooked in pork fat. <laughs> so yeah, if you're uh, if you're not into pork, you probably shouldn't come eat here. But if you like pork and chicken, come eat here. Oh yeah. That is everything right there. It looks like I was supposed to get three chicken legs for what I ordered, but they gave me four because they made me wait. <laughs> and that's cool. I like that. It also came with some dipping sauce. This is some Hawaiian barbecue sauce. Let's try that and then I will give a full comprehensive deal on this. The breading is quite flaky. And I went down the wrong hole. <coughs> Woo! <coughs> but this is the mild version. They uh, have it go all the way up to extreme heat, which is a generous coating of ghost pepper and Carolina Reaper. This is just cayenne and paprika. And it is perfectly seasoned. Like, it's just enough to kind of let your your taste buds know that you're you're on a ride this is the kind of the kind of chicken that you want to have in your life for sure barbecue sauce it's sweet and smoky kind of has I think there's a little bit of a, a soy sauce backing to it a little probably the sweetness is kind of a pineapple uh, in the background there definitely one of the best Hawaiian style barbecue sauces I've ever had. You can taste that pork fat that they fried it in and it just, it really makes this chicken next level. <laughs> next level is like the, the least you can say about it though. So another thing that, that comes with it are these uh, pickled daikon. I'm not really a huge fan of that. They're kind of like a sweet pickle. And I'm just not a, a fan of sweet pickle. I can definitely do without sweet pickles in my life. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's not really a fan of it. It's not something that I'm really into. Um, but I think you come here, the star of the show is definitely the ginger beer. Mm. And that is just, they, they've got like, 30 different flavors on tap and and they got some that are seasonal right now they've got a blueberry peach that's their seasonal flavor but I went with the caramelized pineapple and I am definitely happy with my choice if you're ever in Seattle and you're hanging out by Jeff Bezos's balls <laughs> this place is right across the street from Jeff Bezos's balls so come over here get some chicken get some ginger beer you're gonna have a good time Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that shit you don't want to hear. And, uh, <laughs> and it really helps me out, but uh, if you don't want to take the time, I understand. But I appreciate it if you do. I appreciate you even watching this far in the video. See you next time, and as always, eat great food. <laughs>